What up dudes? Welcome back to another vlog. This is the final one that I filmed. This is the end of my hard drive now. I finally caught up on my up on my footage and now I get to make new stuff. To give you a really short answer as to why I had to leave Spain and move back to the UK, it's because of visas. So the long answer is I left the UK last year a week before Brexit happened. And Brexit basically meant that the U the UK is leaving the European Union and when they did that we lost all the privileges that came with that. And one of the privileges was we could live in any European Union country for as long as we wanted. With these new rules, and no one knew this until it happened, the new rules only allow people from the UK to live in these countries for three months at a time, 90 days, and then you have to leave. So I overstayed my visa by five months. <laughs> Nothing happened. But it meant that the whole time I was in Spain, I had to keep thinking about, I can't do anything too like illegal. Like I can't climb buildings and get caught, because if I get caught, I could risk being deported back. And then that looks bad on my passport forever. If you get kicked out of country, it's really bad for visas in the future. The whole time I'm like being really safe and really passive and I want to do all these crazy things and, and like potentially get in trouble. But I can't because I don't want the, to be deported from Spain. It, it just sucked. I had to keep my head down and just always comply. And I didn't like it. It meant that I had to like wear a mask outside and stuff because I didn't want to draw attention to myself. So yeah, I had to leave Spain, come back to the UK and... It's not looking too promising at the moment. I don't know where I can go next, if so that's why I'm investing in the UK. I'm going to get a house in England and then start working from there, build my business from there. And then if the business does well, or when it does well, then I can move further ab abroad. Uh, so the minimum requirement for a, a visa in Spain was, I think it was, I think it's called an O1 visa. Anyway, the visa required me to have 15,000 euros in a Spanish bank account, just to prove that you can support yourself for two years while you're out there. I didn't have that. So, that was the easiest one, I couldn't get it. That's the answer, that's why I had to leave Spain. That's why I didn't bother renewing my lease. I could have renewed it, it was only a six month lease, but I could have renewed it, which decided not to, and my roommate went back to Norway, I came back here. So that's the sad answer. Um, Flo, who was staying with me and who was in the video, she offered to, I'd go stay in the Netherlands, but it would have been the same, same issue there. I would have had to always be looking over my shoulder and just trying to stay out of trouble, and like, that's not my lifestyle. Thankfully, my parents let me crash here until I find a place. Finding a place is taking me longer than I than I wanted. I'm just saving up as much money so that my options are wider. If you try and move out with no money, it's just your options are very limited. So I've been saving up. So that's why that's why I pushed like OnlyFans so hard. I pushed my Twitch really hard. It's because I'm trying to make money so I can move out again. And then when I'm out, I can start the uh, the shop. The shop has has been dormant for a few months now. I stopped sh stopped shipping things out after I moved or when I was moving. And I haven't started up again. So I want to make some tie-dye harems. If you remember, like, I'm wearing some now, right now, actually. If you remember these guys, I made a whole batch of these a couple years ago when I was in Germany. I want to make similar stuff, but um, I want to get into, like, ice dyeing and all kinds of things like that. And maybe not just harems, like maybe yoga pants and things like that. Or, like, just jogging bottoms. I don't know. Different clothes. I, I love working with tie-dye. I think ink play, so it's called, is really fun. Um, just painting clothing is really fun. So... I want to get back into it, but I want to do it in my own space where I can like dedicate a part of the house to just making a mess, and getting creative. This video is just it's not it's it's not a vlog. I I barely say anything to camera. I'm just hanging out with with my friend Poppy. This is our first time like being alone together and just spending some time <clears throat> just getting to know each other. So we spent a week camping in the middle of November. We took Jasper for half of it, and I just took it to all my favorite spots in North Wales. So. uh I guess enjoy a little peek into that. I never intended to make like a vlog out of it. I was originally going to just make a TikTok, but I have all this footage. You might as well watch it. So enjoy.
you like the length of that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Alright. These are enormous. Trippy when you get next to the lens like that. A lot of crouching involved now. You ready? Probably the front door. I am in front door. Look how big the door is, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. <laughs> just screams, I am rich. I don't know what to do with it. Definitely a small family as well. Like, big families don't build big houses, they build multiple houses. I think it was Johnny Depp. 
Gunners. Lead the way, Gunners. Across the bog. <laughs> Our last camp. It's <laughs> 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 on mossy grass. <sighs> huh? Week. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself, Jess? Been a whole week with us, pretty much. Any any I'm words? Sick of us now. <laughs> any words, Jess? You got anything for us? Anything for the people? To inspire all your followers, Jess. What you got for us? <laughs> What's the message? Drink water. Drink water. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing in the woods? It's a native of a man. That's all, man. You're so strong. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look. Oh. 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 Thank you. 